<laughs> oh, different cities per act. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, uh, the are suggesting I actually equip two crossbows as opposed yeah, to one major Yeah, you can bow. dual wield. Unfortunately, I haven't found a whole lot of, like, uh, single-handed crossbows. But yeah, the NPCs will be following us, so it doesn't matter. I forgot I forgot that we had different towns. I guess you spend the most amount of time, I think, in Tristram. Mm -hmm. I want to say chapter, like, some of the chapters are, like, weirdly short. Or, like, you don't go... Oh, no, you know what it is? You go back to Tristram constantly for, for quests. There's mm -hmm. nothing back here. Oh, really? Wait, but yeah. then why do you even have the option to go I back there? I don't know. Uh, but, like, you go back to... Oh. You go back to Tristram constantly for, like, for turning in quests and whatnot. You almost never go back to the other ones that I remember. Oh. That is quite the horde. Shall. We got a party. I need essence. Vengeance! That we do. You will make a fire. I guess Corpse Corpse. Explosion kind of solves the problem. I might actually play through some of this, um off camera and make a necromancer on PC just to see what the difference is. Uh, but yeah, so they keep bringing you back to Tristram Wait, over we've been and here over before? again. What? Uh, this looks familiar. Yeah, well, I mean, we, like I said, procedural generation. They actually oh. don't have that many uh, specific tile chunks, so they're going to look very similar. It's part of the reason why I don't feel like ex exploring very often. Because mm -hmm. sadly, doesn't actually it's not it's, it's not just that gonna fancy. be more experience and yeah gold. but like we don't we don't need it that desperately we'll hit a certain point where we're getting our butt kicked at which point we can do certain things but honestly I don't even know if I would play play this again solo on PC or if I just uh, start chugging through the torchlight series and then uh also, Torchlight had a really nice set of stylization well, when it came to its characters, and I would like to play through Torchlight Decay Two at some point. Rot. Are they going to make a Torchlight Three? Yes, chance? Torchlight Fr Frontiers. It's coming out sometime next year. Huh. Uh, they've already got. They've already got some stuff. I'm not entirely sure. They they had it at PAX, but I didn't bring us over there because I'm. Uh, uh huh. Probably one of the booths that had a lot of yeah, people it was, crowded about it. It was back behind where the uh, Guild Wars booth was. Oh, yeah. Well, we were also probably distracted by the big Griffin statue. Well, mainly I was just like, I'm going to play this game anyway. Like, I don't care. I know it exists now. That's all I need. I, I'm i very much like in the... I, I'd love to try everything at PAX and so on and so forth, but I know it's much easier for me to... It's, it's really interesting. Um, I... A lot of the artists that I follow that also do Artist Alley and such, they've been really getting into enamel pins, and it's interesting because enamel pins are cropping up at PAX as well. Well, yeah. And as a reward... They had buttons for a while, but... Uh, well, there's still buttons at plenty. But, but Penny, Penny Arcade has been pushing the buttons really hard because uh, they know people will buy them. Well, enamel pins, you mean. Yeah, sorry. Uh... Though so some of them were giving them away if you were able to complete the demos or yeah. experience I mean, it's good advertising. Demos. We got we got a couple of enamel pins, if I remember right. Uh, only one. Okay, we only got one, but you, like... You did get another enamel pin from PAX South, though. Right. I need yes, essence. I've gotten two enamel pins, and it's a lot easier for me to actually remember. Uh, like, it's a, it's a lot easier for me to remember the games that I got, like, the, the physical gifts for. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why we also pick up all the little business cards, our little prints and flyers. Yeah. But, like, the prints and flyers, they all just get, like, jammed together. You can't really, like... You could with the buttons, but, like, the enable pins, like, you want to save those. The main problem is it just costs extra money for the developers, so I can see why they wouldn't do it. Yeah, most people sell enamel pins for at least ten dollars. Yeah. Which means the production must have been, I would say, at least... If I ever, if I ever have a PAX booth, uh, I'll probably have enamel pins. Yeah, enamel pins people. are really pretty mm -hmm. because you the outlines are made oh. with the metal. Yeah, that looks nice. But yeah, so what I'll probably do is instead of Diablo three on PC, even though it'd be cool to play through on PC and get to the end game, I'd just rather play it 
here and there and where are we going? Okay, up ahead <laughs> to the right. It's just a giant loop. This is quite extensive. Well, yeah. So Do effect- what's interesting, hmm? if you think about it, that I wonder how much more comfortable places like these would be. That is not possible. Compared to the hovels that people are dwelling in up above. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because look at look at how well furnished these places are. There's rugs, there's bookshelves, there's candles, it's, there's... Yeah, the Diablo universe is skewed. It feels like everybody puts all of their effort into making uh, really crazy nice crypts and dungeons and stuff. <laughs> and then when it comes to like actual like personal lodging, Eh? Personal safety? Eh. <laughs> Standing militaries? Huh. <laughs> now everybody just lives in fear waiting for heroes to come loot grind their way to Ooh, victory. Ooh, a sword. Yeah, that's that's where we fight the Auric. You, you think? Yeah. Is that what the objective says? Uh, well, I mean, this is the boss chamber. It's gotta be. Let's go, let's go. I thought that, that we were supposed to put the might... crown upon his head. I don't know. A well, sword it doesn't... might just be a mid boss. Nope. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. No, this is a this is the history. May death bring peace from your madness, Leon. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Somebody sounds upset. How about a boner party to cheer you up? Look at that. So this is just the cuts. Well, I wouldn't necessarily yeah. call it a cutscene, but it's Plot. the. It's that guy that had all of the. Oh, I found him. Oh. You dare to bring the warmth of life into my tomb? What are these? Uh. Are we supposed to take them out? Pillars. It doesn't look like they're taking damage. Oh. They turn red, though. Yeah, but they don't... They don't light up. Did what? Yeah, one crumbled. Oh, we probably just have to kill the... Uh, no, no, kill the skeletons kill around Kill the them. skeletons surrounding them? Yeah, because I, I just focused on killing the skeletons in the area. And I bet that'll that'll cause, cause them to go down. They actually seem like braziers rather than... I killers. have long waited for this yeah, knowledge. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. We go around. Oh, I guess... Yeah, that wasn't the boss chamber. Alright, onwards. Of a sort. What other good CRP... There's... It's... it's or not CRPGs, ARPGs. There's actually, like, a ton of really good Diablo-like ARPGs. There's, uh... There's Path of Exile, which I'm sure... Well, we both played. We have just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken-down monastery, hardly fit for the King of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. Oh, we have now, a new B skill. Lazarus was one that betrayed him, right? And made him into an undead king. Yeah. So maybe he wanted to make the town here. Well, wanted the king to make his seat of power here. So with the precise goal of the, oh, here we go. being able to use the magical energies of the undead or whatnot here. Well, except for Lazarus, like turned on him because Leoric lost his mind. Question mark. It wasn't Lazarus though. It wasn't that La like oh, Londa yeah, hand or whatever. You're probably right. La -ba -da -ba -da -ba. You will never defeat me! <laughs> okay, so I want to double check something. So we got a new skill. Uh, I want to go in here. I want to... Fear? What? Oh! Hmm? It's... Maybe it's because we we're in a cutscene. I couldn't switch things around. No. It's it, because we're in a boss arena. Yeah, fight. it's probably because we're in a bo boss arena. It won't let me change anything around. That's unfortunate. I'm okay. still waiting. It was Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus. Or La Lazarus. 
Zazzlerath. Lazarus was his second in command? Azeroth, stop messing with people. Need more time. Let them be king in peace. Oh, I see. I was pressing the wrong skill. That's why she's like, I need more time. Okay, there we go. So, Lactanon killed Leoric after Lazarus manipulated Leoric. Right, right, that's what I was saying. Why are, do La they all have L names? I was saying that Lazarus was, like, his, I, I suppose, the one that had necromant blah, necromancery magic that turned him. I'm going through the basics. Also, Lazarus, you know the, you know, the story of Lazarus, so of course it would be befitting that he brings back the dead. No, it's true. It's just like, Ooh, that's a mighty mace. Yeah. Oh, you've never played, uh... Uh, Leoric is actually a, uh, a playable character in multiple, uh, in multiple, like, MOBAs that we've played. Mm -hmm. Uh... He's also the, uh, is it Mord Mordekaiser? Uh, remember my brother's, one of my brother's favorite characters to play in League of Legends, the big, like, armored guy? Mm -hmm. With the, the uh, like, he just had, like, a giant suit of armor and a giant mace? He was based off of Leora. Oh, uh, okay. If I remember right. Are my skeleton is just invincible. I don't know. I guess since I turned off the, uh, since I turned off... The health bars I can't I can't tell anymore. <laughs> this poor boss fight. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. He's just like, I can't I can't do it. Yoink! Alright, so now that stuff that's that's loot to redistribute here. Oh, well, there he goes. And enter the desolate chamber. See, the in-game volume is a bit too loud. Ah. It's weird because we can barely hear it. Uh, I mean, that's that's on my TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then raise the TV volume and then... The problem is, like, it, it varies from game to game. So there's a couple of games that are just, like, At last, the ridiculously loud. Oh, right. I remember. I remember what's going on in here. I remember this plot. Wait, is there going to be an angel down there or something? Okay, there we go. Now we don't have to worry about things. Hello! This is unexpected. How did you come here? I am. I... I was. I... I remember falling. Who are you? I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness. The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. You must get to safety. Then we will find answers. I honestly did not expect him to look like the way the way he does. He looks almost oh. identical to the Paladin in, uh, in Diablo 2. Which surprises me a little bit. I believed it was a fallen star. But in truth... It was only a man. And of course, his memories have vanished. Perhaps that good king will know more. In the future, could I try activating a portal yeah, and see if I, my voice Yeah, I just keep forgetting. Goes? I really wish it, there was like an option to randomize like who responds, or if we both respond. Okay, well can I do this at the very least? Sure. I found him at the center of the crater. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. A point reached. Oh. Oh. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. 
It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the goatmen to madness. Then I will slay them and return the sword to you. Wait, there are creatures called goatmen? I mean, they're satyrs, but everybody's racist in this universe. Okay, so we actually have some equipment to grab. Uh, let's see. How's this better? Experience per code. You have something unidentified. Oh. Yeah. We we'll probably identify that. That's. Oh, well. The Orc's oh, Crown. I bet we both got these. Increase the effect of any gem socket into this crown by 85%. Yes? Well, there should only be one crown. Now you look awesome. I do. Can, we, can you transmogrify in this game? Because mm -hmm. that's. I think you can, but I thought that was only something. Oh. I could just carry around a heart. A heart? <laughs> that. Some It'd striders. be fitting. Okay. And you should probably do the same thing. So. Okay. Quickly zip through, see if there's anything useful. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. There's your crown, uh. though. We both get to be crowns. And you can transmog. Cool. So yeah, I slap that want crown that. on. But oh, yours, is, your crown's better than mine is. Ah. Oh. Huh? Anyway, you also get go to the crossbows. Yes. Uh, grab the predator star. It's worse. I'll show you why. Now go over to the offhanded crossbows. Oh, so you want me to do this? Yep. And then you are now dual wielding crossbows. Wait, I am right yep. now. So you could probably switch to. The oh wait, no, no, you no, don't I'm want not. the heavy crossbow. Because I bet that unequips your other one. Well, I only seem to be holding one right now. Oh, can I can I see for a second? Oh, I see. No, no. Uh... Oh, yeah. One-handed crossbow in your main. Yeah. So Predator Star is in fact a uh... two. Is a two-hander. So you want to keep your eye out for another hand crossbow. In fact, I. Well, there is the hand crossbow of Starlight. Yeah, but you need one more of those. Wait. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other one. I yeah, see. that's that's the one that you keep trying to equip in your offhand. Okay, ability to transmog later. You have to find the NPC. There's three in total: blacksmith, jeweler, and enchanter. Gotcha. Uh, okay. those blue boots might be better than the orange boots. Maybe no. 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 O only go for upgrades if it increases your damage. We don't need survivability right now. We are strong. Okay. So, uh, why don't you check your skills while you're here? Okay. Sure. Cause. Oh, it looks like there's a. Yeah. So you've got. Traps. You've got some alternate skills here, if you notice, mm -hmm. that you could switch to. So you have Vault, or you could just gain Discipline. I don't... I like Vault, though. Okay. Now this one... You've got a Throwing Star. Throwing Star. Release a spinning blade that slices through enemies. Mm, but I still really like the Barrage. Okay. Now this was different. You have multiple. Fire bullet that wraps around enemy and explodes or evasive fire. Fire three enemies and occasionally perform an evasive backflip if any enemies are close. The bola seems interesting. This one? Yeah, maybe. Rather than just having a standard arrow. I yeah. do like the idea of automatically doing a backflip if enemies close in on me. Yeah, but we don't have that many enemies. Like, that seems like it would do less damage in favor of... Okay, I'll try bullets. And you have a rune, too, so volatile explosives. Increase the explosion radius of the bola. So you got it equipped. Yep. And you also have more passives. Just one. Might as well see what it does. Maximum hatred is increased by 25. You gain 30 hatred. That's helpful. That's when you get healed by a health glow? Yeah, that's better than what you have. That means I uh, won't be able to do the stun anymore. Oops. Oh, well, that's fine. Because you don't have an alternate for the fan of knives. No, I don't. Which I don't think I've seen you use yet. But then again, I it's very hard for me to see anything. Armor. By 100% reduced by 10% for each active minion. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Siphon blood. So that's uh, healing. So it's a self-heal. So I could, do, I could do vampirism. I could also do this. Target oh. up to two nearby enemies with large bone pillars. 
Heck yeah. What's the... here? Nope. Okay. So we have Skeletal Mage, also Death Nova. This... Do I get... When do I get the Golem? Oh, there it is. Command Golem. Okay. Ooh. So switch from Curses to Golem. <laughs> okay. And then there's also Army of the Dead and Land of the Dead. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Well. Oh. Oh, oh no. Mm. Oh, no. I'm going to name him Snuffles. <laughs> It looks to be As all mouth, no I'm fairly no certain nose. he doesn't have a nose. No. <laughs> <laughs> he all doesn't. Right. Uh, let's see. So I want to salvage, mass salvage everything. Problem with me mass salvaging is all. I would salvage all the potential crossbows that I could dual wield, which isn't good. I mean, that's probably fine. Oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, you probably should hold off on that. So once we're level 19, we want to come back and take a look at what we can do with this guy. Oh! I can command my golem to explode on things. Cool. Well, Ah, oh, that's uh, like the flashback onwards? thing I had in onwards. Divinity. Onwards! Yeah, except for maybe less... It was such a shame playing that game. Because it, it felt like... Um... It felt like the summoning and necromancer skills were just so... Weak. Left and right. Let's see. So we're looking for... There's usually a cave around ah, here. Ah, so those are what the goat men look like. Maximum friendship. This is weird. What? Just the bolo launcher rather oh. than arrows. It looks cool. Let's see. Can Shell craft a single-handed crossbow? We'll just do it at level 19. We're not too far off of that, especially at the pace we're going. Let's see, do we have any pets yet? Yep, we've got a pair of cuckoos. That's just for playing on the Switch version though, right? Yeah. But they, they'll go uh, gold. Like, they, they'll get gold for us. Loot Goblin! Loot Goblin, Shell. Oh, okay. Come back here, Shell. Oh, he's over there? Yeah. Yeah, so we gotta follow him around. Take him down. Tree! Uh oh, an end? Tree! I must wait. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Luke Olam died a while ago, and you just looted all of the stuff. I did. No, I, I was talking about the, the tree oh, creature. Oh, the tree. Yeah, I mean. Ah! It's not like it's actually that hard. Nests. Two nests, actually. Okay, we're finally hitting the point where we're getting enough enemies to actually feel like, uh, we're fighting. Yeah, I like the massacre bonuses and stuff. Though, I mean, realistically, it could have just been... Everything could have been retooled to be a flat bonus. I like the, uh, the gamification of everything. Oh, Wonder got a legendary something. My power Ooh. has grown that I'll blow. check it in a second. Hey, there oh, it is. Experience. Okay. Oh, grab it. That's actually not an experience. That's a uh, oh, that's that like a nephilim bonus. I see. It gets us like a twenty second uh, buff, and every time you pick up, oh. every every one you pick up increases the duration by like whatever amount. And so sometimes it's like double damage, extra armor. Who knows? Kill her. So is this the coven? Yeah, probably some coven cave. We must hurry with the ritual. Magda will be here soon. It is turning. Just as I thought, the sword well, pieces here. They don't live long. Who are you to take what is mine? It belongs to another. Regardless, I have claimed it. I have Oops, oh. we left. Oops. We got distracted. Well, I didn't know she was standing there. Yeah, I thought I thought she was like deeper in the cave or something. So I assume we have to kill her minions. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. And thus we find out we are actually really old. I wouldn't be surprised if your character was, but mine was a poor girl who was orphaned by 
you know, the demon slaying I, I, the family. Oh man, that would be hilarious uh, if they actually forced us to like send in Deckard Kane for a stealth mission. <laughs> like you know how Deckard, video games like to do that. We need someone who's ancient. Uh, you probably qualify. I'm the oldest man alive. <laughs> that isn't like one of those stupid elves. I hate elves. They're they make probably, me look young. They like to call me baby man. Elves in this I don't universe, appreciate though. it. When I say stay a while and listen, they smirk at me. They stay longer than I do, and I don't move. <laughs> you know how offensive that is? Have your own catchphrase I use against do that. you? <laughs> it hurts, man. This it hurts. Be a challenge. Item identification, they don't need it. They already know down. everything. Woo, giant musox things. Or minotaurs, maybe. We, uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm just letting it happen. Form with the ancient. Wow, these these are toughy enemies. At this rate, I think we've gotten them all. Right? Yeah, I, th I think we got them all. There's a bunch. We actually took some damage there. It's a weird feeling. All right, I actually want to quickly identify this. It's a sword. Yes. As I got the Zweihander. The Zweihander. What else did I get? Some goodies. Seriously. It's weird to see me running around with a greatsword, especially because... I don't really use. <laughs> I don't even swing it. The moment I use my it's bone, more, it's bone more pillar. of a focus. Yeah, no, I I know. It's just amusing that I don't even have an animation where I like swing it around. It just zips onto my back the moment I start using anything else. Wow, they made short work of him. I mean, I do have a lot of friends, and getting that Zweihander upgrade has cranked up my damage considerably. Because all of them are affected. Hey, I got a ring. Mm hmm. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. Scavenger's Den, probably just one of the randomized dungeons. The Crusaders swore an oath to dedicate their lives to the search. None believed that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search ennobled them that the discipline of their life and journey was the true goal. The Crusader was meant to find meaning in the quest itself. I don't think the Crusader logs were added until, um... Until the Crusader was yeah. added. Yeah, like that's a Reaper of Souls edition. Which is kind of neat. Of course, Wonder would get his Vihander. Hey! It's like it knows me. Fair and simple wander luck. Well, what did horde? I? There's a horde of bats, or maybe little Rathma has small crawlers. Me. Yeah, we're already level 16. Yeah, we'll be at level 19. We'll go back into town and see if we can make you the weapons that you want. Mhm. Mm I have a feeling that this is the kind of game where you can actually do a lot of inventory management and stuff off screen but the problem is it goes by so swiftly the gameplay that you almost need to do things on the fly yeah well if you notice when i equipped stuff i pretty much just swung swung my stick around was like upgrade 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 okay i'm done mm -hmm. you know you really don't have to think that hard about it uh, you know i'm not that swift with controllers now is the time to learn yes that's interesting like, I don't know, I, I subscribe to the... Practice, I know. Well, You have practice, plenty of practice. It's true. But, like, even when I don't know what I'm doing, no, I, I guess I've always subscribed to the uh, fake it till you make it uh, mentality. It's like, yeah, if I don't understand this system, I'm just going to wing it until it works. Instead of, like, trying to make it work Are the first flames? time. Are these flames? Uh, yeah, molten. Special enemy type, I guess. It's like yeah, kind of the destroyer. Ow. That hurt. Okay. 
So really, if there's a molten enemy, let my cre uh, let my dudes tank it. Oh, because uh, they explode and it hurts real bad. But yeah, largely loot won't matter until we hit the end game when like we're not finding. I'm gonna say direct upgrades. You know, it'll be like an endless cycle of of side grades, and that's when you need to actually sit down and be like, okay, which one of these is better? I know people hate those, like, the little carrots being like, this is an upgrade, but I love them because it makes my life so much easier. I'll min-max in, in times when I need it, but, like, if I can skip it, it'll make my life easier. And you can see, you just got a really good bow and a really good belt. Mm -hmm. So you should probably uh, go into your inventory and throw them the on. The creatures that killed him can't be far. Their tracks are fresh. Okay. So, Prey Essence. Once again, though, it's belt. a Bobo. Yeah. It is a Bobo, but it's a good Bobo. Bobo so, do you want me to do that 36? Uh, no. 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 Uh, pretty much, if it's a golden item, it's generally going to be better, even if it's got, like, a minor bit, because, uh... That has more defense, but less attack and healing. Yeah, I wouldn't think about it too much. The Leather Quiver of the Bear might be worthwhile. And that bell. Oh, belt. whoa, whoa. Well, you go back. Those pants actually are better. Because the These armor pants. is that much higher. Yeah. Yes. And you're good. That looks pretty good. Yep. Well, wait a minute. Gloves. This is probably better. Uh, Actually, the high gloves of the hawk. Three down. There you go. There we go. That looks good. Let's see. Is this Diablo 3 on the Switch? Yup. It works well I, it definitely it definitely looks like a little bit um less crisp i think than than standard diablo 3 like on the pc or whatever but it performs well enough and i like i don't know i i like my switch oh this means i can grind in bed mm -hmm. yeah that i think that's what the major aim of the switch was to be a console that was also handheld? I think it's yeah. pretty... Well, so part of it that's is... That's what they um, wanted with the Wii, but the Wii U, I mean. Yeah, but so... But the Wii U was a little bit... Yeah, the Wii U was a brilliant idea, but not enough games made use of it. Mm -hmm. And so the games that did were lauded for it, and the games that didn't, no one cared. But the problem is the Wii U was kind of a wash because they marketed it bad. Um, and so... Oh, Trey... Free beard. Mm -hmm. Stop siding with Satan. <laughs> uh, but so with the Wii U, it was a great idea, but a lot of games just straight up didn't let you play, like on the gamepad mode, because the gamepad itself wasn't quite, it wasn't, it didn't have the hardware, it was effectively a screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't work that well. Whereas this is all built in, so the dock is really just a charging station. Yep. The Tristram fields are fair lands, fertile and temperate. Superstitious farmers kept away from them for quite a while after the fall of Old Tristram. But time has persuaded them to abandon these ridiculous notions and take up the hoe and plow once more. Now they supply crops to both New Tristram and Wortham. Sweet revenge! Uh, let's see. But, uh... But so the Wii U is kind of a wash, which is frustrating for Nintendo because... Arguably, it was one of their best platforms. It just, it didn't do enough and, you know, it didn't stand on its own very well sheerly because of marketing. Um. Strange. This place is still occupied. Stay away. There's nothing in here of use to you. We should have known. The farmers left over a fortnight ago. And yet... Oh, really? We oh. stayed. Last night... We heard the beasts creeping closer. My husband left to investigate, and I haven't seen him since. All I have left are the things we made together. Hopefully, they are of more use to someone else. Okay. These are dark times, my friend. I thought for a moment you were one of those dreadful goat men. Since you're not, would you like to buy something? Okay, so she sells actually decent things. Sort of decent stuff? Uh, how much? We have 18, 
thousand gold. Yeah, we're rich. I mean, uh, then again, much of what she possesses costs between what two is and a five thousand. I have no idea. She doesn't have anything particularly amazing f for me. You can check though. These are dark times, my friend. I thought for a moment you were one of those dreadful goat I men. I can't just. Since you're not, you can just press you B. Like to buy something? Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. So she might sell something that's like absolutely an upgrade for you, but um, it's probably. I do see the reptilian leather mantle. No. no, 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 none of them, none of them. So she only sells specific items. It's it's not worth it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so we'll just get up to level nineteen and we'll craft things. The astute edge technically is a damage upgrade, but it costs you. Like, I think all of your skills. I don't really know if you can do much for... Yeah, I mean, I'm a range. melee combatant. Well, not melee, sorry, blah, ranged. Yeah, but effectively, the uh, I don't the Wii U was do doing melee. real bad. And so what happened was uh, the, the 3DS... I think the 3DS did really poorly for, like, the first couple months. And then it, like, popped off like hotcakes. Because uh, I think they finally started supporting the platform. But there's nothing I'm really interested in the 3DS now. Well, like, I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that you barely even play games to begin with. Uh, when it's not with me. Right, because, I mean, your job is essentially to play games, but... Yeah, yeah. I pretty much only play with you. Yeah, uh, Stumps was talking about this earlier, how they have to, like, make time just to play video games. And, like, I do it occasionally, but at this point I'm just... I try and record every time... Vengeance! I, I try and record every time I play a video game. Uh, if I can manage it, and if I'm not doing, uh... Yeah, you can't really play just for pleasure anymore. Nope. And that's fine. Because, like, I have fun playing video games like this. I'm not too buggered by... I I'm not too buggered by the fact that, like, yeah, I am doing this for work. The only real problems are, you know, minor hand issues and some other stuff. Uh... But, so... With this one, nope. Oh, take the sword piece back to Kane. I need to go back. I gotcha. That's what we're supposed to be Oh, doing. we're supposed to take them back one by one? Yeah, I guess so. We haven't collected all the pieces yet, though. No, but the next one is, like, in the next zone. I recovered a piece of the sword, but members of a coven are pursuing it as well. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven. But I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Yep. What are you starving? I'm pretty hungry too. I wanted to talk with him because we found that note. Oh. Tell me about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. A brave deed. It is good to know that there was one sane man among the mad. It is good to see you back at the forge, blacksmith. Work needs doing. No one is going to do it for me. That is very true, but we also need people to fight. No, this is my trade, and I'm the best. I'll make you the weapons you need to kill every last demon you see. Deal? That was what I'd gotten by asking her him about Mira? Mm-hmm. Huh. That is not possible. Huh. Um. Now you're making me hungry. Oh. Okay. Floor they time. know where the next piece is. Their leader said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. 
The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another.